I have the base model of the Redmi Note 12 from Xiaomi. And in today's video, I'll be showing you an easy way to access fast boot mode on this device. This tutorial will also work for the other devices in this series, including the Redmi Note 12 Pro, the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus, and the Redmi Note 12 Discovery Edition, also known as the Explorer Edition. For those who may not be aware, fast boot mode is a special boot mode on many Android devices from many different OEMs. This mode is sometimes referred to as bootloader mode, and it comes from the term bootstrap loader. When a smartphone or tablet is in fast boot mode, the Android operating system is not loaded at all. Instead, we're accessing the boot manager of the device, which is responsible for telling it how to boot up. Accessing fast boot mode on Android essentially allows you to execute commands that are not allowed during normal operation. For example, if the bootloader is unlocked, then we can flash firmware files to an Android smartphone or tablet while we are in fast boot mode. This is also where you would go if you ever wanted to unlock or relock the bootloader of an Android device. And we can load the Redmi Note 12 fast boot mode software in a very easy way by first telling the smartphone to restart. This can be done by bringing up the power menu and then swiping down to activate the reboot process. As soon as you see the screen go black, we're gonna press and hold the volume down button. And we're gonna continue holding this volume button down while the phone attempts to boot back up. Instead of seeing the regular boot animation sequence on the screen, you'll see the word fast boot appear with a black background. When you are at this fast boot mode screen, you will then usually want to connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable and then execute some fast boot commands using ADB and fast boot tools. An example command here would be flashing a custom kernel, flashing a custom ROM, or just instructing the phone that you want to unlock or relock the bootloader. I'll be showing some of these things in future videos here on the channel. So if you own any phone in the Redmi Note 12 series or plan to purchase one in the future, then subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications as to when those videos are uploaded here. Now, I also know that some people will accidentally boot into fast boot mode on their Redmi Note 12 smartphone. You just saw how easy it was to boot into this special boot mode, and this can happen randomly due to the way MIUI is designed, or it can happen on accident from using a case or from something else holding down that volume button while the phone is trying to boot back up. So if you find yourself at the Redmi Note 12 fast boot mode screen and you want to reboot out of it and back into Android, we can do this by pressing and holding the power button for seven to 10 seconds. As long as the phone is not connected to the PC with a USB cable, and as long as you are not actively flashing a firmware to the device, you are safe to force the smartphone to restart using this method. And as long as you are not holding down the volume down button while the phone boots back up, then you should see it reboot directly back into the Android operating system just as you see here. You're gonna see it go through the boot animation sequence like normal, and then it will boot you back into Android.
if you see that the phone is rebooting back into fast boot mode when you press and hold that power button, then there could be something causing the issue. As mentioned, if you're using a case, then it could be holding this volume button down. So a good way to avoid that is to take the case off and reboot the phone. Also, the file system on your Redmi Note 12 smartphone could be damaged or corrupt, and that could be causing what is known as a boot loop. So if you're seeing the phone reboot back into fast boot mode over and over again, even when you try to reboot back into Android, then you'll want to try to boot the device into recovery mode and perform a factory data reset in an attempt to recover the Android operating system files so that your phone can boot up like normal. I'll be recording a separate video showing you how to boot this device into recovery mode. So again, be sure to look out for that video on this channel in the near future.